Hi guys, Rashid here from IU Media. Recently, I've been on social media and there's been a few glitches which I've come across where I found that certain people don't understand what the difference between culture, tradition and religious beliefs are. And I wanted to highlight this topic and go into details of it right now. When we look at certain cultures, certain traditions and the difference between their religious beliefs etc. Although some people can get confused because they'll, 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 they take the saying where Islam is a way of life and they try and bring the... Uh, oh, I'm going to edit that bit. Okay. So what they do is, you need to understand that from the different cultures you have, let's take from our region, because the problems mainly is, is, is heavily focused in, in our region, India, Bangladesh, Pakistan, in those places. Now the people, the British people here, I'm finding are getting more and more confused. That's, this is the reason I'm doing this video, to give you a deeper understanding of what the culture, the traditions, the customs and the religious beliefs are. I won't touch much on religion because various people have, you know, a few different religions but I'm from an Islamic religion and I'm from the Islamic background and I'm gonna just touch on it briefly just to give you an idea of it anyway. So, for example, when we look at the culture I won't touch much on religion because then it goes too deep into the topic but I will give you a brief on the religion when we look at the the cultural aspect of things someone from Europe someone from America someone from Asia whether it's someone from Middle East someone from Africa people have different cultures and the cultural aspect of of things is quite complex because when you start to travel you you start to see this and then you have traditions again when you start to travel you see different traditions now to give you the difference I'm gonna highlight the key point here so from our region India Bangladesh Pakistan you can understand that when we look at some of the cultural things like spice this is cultural so culturally everybody uh, has spicy food over there you go to the Middle East, you go to the Middle East they don't have spicy food you go to you know the, the uh, uh, Europe they have different types of cuisines etc European cuisines these are cultural and then you have traditions which fall under now cultures and traditions they're very similar however when we look at the traditions traditions are more um, to do with for example certain families will have certain traditions certain villages will have certain traditions certain areas so it's more of the regional things so the, the culture is the broader region and the traditions is the cust uh, uh, is the smaller regions and the customs is again it, it goes even smaller so that's how you, you break it down now let's give a few scenarios when, we, when you go to India Pakistan Bangladesh and those places people have spicy food that is the culturally that that's the way again you go to traditions for example the people of Bangladesh for example the people of Bangladesh they wear a lungi so for those of you who are not familiar with the lungi um, you can type it in Google and check what a lungi is and I think the English word for it is sarong by the way so they have a, a sarong this is what the, what, what the people wear in Bangladesh and it's tradition you know and again you can say 
um, you go to the Pakistan region or India and those places and the people they wear the salwar and that's their culture uh, in and even in India like they have the, the, the Indian salwar so if you if you look at the Maharaj of India and, 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 and the people of, 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 of ancient times and you know you just have to see is a few movies and you don't understand what I'm trying to say and they, they, they also wear the turban as well so they have the Indian turban which is quite quite famous in India as well so that is the traditions okay going to the Middle East and they had their traditions as well they had their cultural side and they had their traditions as well and you know for example the the long jubba which you know uh, which is the Islamic garment as well because it's what the Prophet used to wear and that's the only thing which 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 I think the key thing that's causing the confusion is the garment because the the way the Prophet and the Arabs used to dress back then is the cultural or the traditions what they had in Arabia at the time and because it's the way the when a scholar or somebody who is a, a learned person within the Islamic world they dress with the Islamic clothing so now people think that everything else is kind of fits into the religion so it's kind of confusing now and I think that's the the key confusion because fair enough the Islamic dress is the Islamic dress they've they've announced it now uh, people have accepted it that this is the Islamic clothing however originally it was the tradition of the Arabs the long dress and the way they they, they, they have it, especially the cloak the cloak is the tradition as well so these days like when people become sheikhs they wear the cloak and that's the tradition of the Arabs anyway and you'll see like the, the there's a few other things which the Arabs have and it's in their tradition again you go to places like Egypt you go to places like Morocco but the dress sense is slightly different although it's similar to the to the Arabs in in Middle East because the Arabs in Middle East when you see the way they dress it's the long jubba it's plain simple and they have the the head scarf normally and with the with the, with the, with the round um, thing on I forgot what it's called now but the with, with, with the round thing we call it the belly it's, it's in, in Bangla so they have the belly on and uh, that's the tradition of the Middle Eastern Arabs the way they prefer to dress you go to the uh, North Africa they're Arabs as well okay and you go to the Moroccan side, Tunisian side, and you see the way they dress and their traditions, the is slightly different. You know, the, the dress is slightly different. You go to again you move to Egypt, again the dress is slightly different. They are more baggy. Uh, in, in 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 Libya, Morocco they have the, the wool, like thick, thick clothing. Again, you go to Persia Iran side, Iraq, and they have the, and even like the Sufis, and they have big, thick clothing, the wool, uh, and all of this. So those traditions were from the different regions, and the clothing wear, the garments were from 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 them. You go to China, even the Chinese back back then, they used to wear uh, similar clothes to the to the Arabs or longer longer. Uh, dresses shall we say even, even for the men you know the the longer um, you can see uh, I don't know if, 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 if any of you have watched like 
some of the, 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 the martial arts movies or something and you see that the masters they're always wearing the traditional clothing so clothing really is a traditional thing um, and it's got nothing to do with like it hasn't really got um, a strong bond with the religion itself it's a sunnah which is what the Prophet used to wear so that's what one of his sunnahs and because he did it that's why we can say it's a sunnah and not only that but the main thing is the the, the, the you know the, the the rules of clothing within Islam for example for the men when they go to pray they can't have their back showing and that's the rule so they shouldn't have the back showing or else the prayer is invalid um, and that's the thing so that's why they have uh, and also it's better to have the uh, the turban the the the, the fagdi on because when you pray with the fagdi on you're getting more rewards and you know i won't go into details of that you can um, ask a sheikh who's, who's more qualified than me to, to to go into the details of that but i know that there's a lot more reward from if i'm not mistaken i think it's 70 70 times more or 70,000 times more one of them which is huge you know huge just for wearing the 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 the, the turban which would because it's 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 a good sunnah you know it's, it's a great sunnah again things like this like i'm wearing the rings you know even the rings that the prophet he used to wear these were the sunnah as well there was there's so many sunnahs eating sitting down on the floor this was a sunnah eating with the hand this was the sunnah there's so many sunnahs out uh, out there not only that it's also it, it wasn't also the custom of the the it, you know because the some of it was the customs as well and some of it was already the customs and some of it was the the, the prophet so, prophet um gave the customs to them you know because it was, it was better for the people for example uh i mean i won't go into too much of it but you can figure that out yourself i guess so i want to stick to the topic where we have again you go to like pakistan region and afghanistan region and they have kabul i, I believe kabul is a place in afghanistan and in Bangladesh, when I was younger, when I was growing up in Bangladesh, we had a garment in the madrasa where I used to study. And the garment was called the Kabuli set. So they always used to call this the Kabuli set. Reason being because it originated in Kabul, this style of dressing so they had the kabuli set and they also had the punjabi set the punjabi set because that originated in the punjab so you had the, the the way we used to dress in bangladesh we we used to have the tradition was we wear the longi okay so the longi is the bangladeshi dress and then they have either the bangladeshi shirt which which comes up to the uh, three quarters like you know it, it, it's not as long as the jubba or the or, or the kabuli but it is it's shorter so the Bangladeshi shirt which which this was the traders and stuff used to wear uh, one of my uncle was a trader and he used to be very traditionally Bangladeshi uh, and he used to go everywhere and that was his business dress as well so I know and he used to have his gamsa you know and this was tradition for Bangladesh at the time um, Cut, cut, cut. I'll come back to it. Stop 